up, YouTube? This is the Alliance of American Football Zone coming to you with a new live video. And guess what? We're going to try and predict the opening games for this season. And I said we for a reason. We've got our analysis here. Sea Lark. Sea Lark, what's up? How you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm glad to be here. I'm ready to make some predictions. All right, let's get it started. All right, guys, first game, got San Antonio at San Diego, and San Antonio is pretty much a heavy favorite here. Uh, the offense is firing on all cylinders. It's the top offense in the league. At least that's what the rumors are. It's what people are saying. Kenneth Farrow, uh, running back, he's a physical back. Got Logan Woodside and Dustin Vaughn at quarterback. Joel Lanning on defense at linebacker. I got this game 28-22, San Antonio, just too much. For San Diego, but I think San Diego could keep it close. What about you, Clark? Uh, I'm actually going to have to go to San Diego. In their lone preseason game, they led every single team in plays, yards for play, passing yards, and completion percentage. I like San Diego 28-19. to First of all, Atlanta made the mistake, I believe, in putting Chris Sims as a starter over Aaron Murray. Um, I just don't see Chris Sims as being better than Aaron Murray. They've, uh, they've got Denard Robinson and Tarion Fulston at running back. Two good running backs, I think. And then uh, on the other side of the ball, Orlando apparently has a very good defense. Their offense was a question in the preseason, but it's Steve Spurrier we're talking about. And Garrett Gilbert's a decent quarterback. Akeem Hunt is projected to be the starting running back. I've got Orlando 19-12. to I don't really see much offense in this game. This one's sort of an unpredictable game because both teams played fairly conservative in their preseason game. But I'm going to have to go to Steve Spurrier. Based on what he saw coaching college, I'll, I'm going to take Orlando 15-13, to 13, a low-scoring affair. All right, next up, we got Memphis at Beham. Uh, the Express, I think, are going to be a defensive team. They're going to be defense first with Mike Singletary and Dennis Thurman as coaches. I just think they're going to be great on defense. And the offense just really doesn't have that much. You know, Zach Stacy might be an all-right back. Christian Hackenberg, I don't trust him. Um, on the other side of the ball, Birmingham, the iron. Luis Perez, to me, is the real deal and could be one of the better quarterbacks in this league. He's dominated Division II and pretty good uh, in the NFL. You know, he really didn't have much time in the NFL. Uh, he has a chance to shine. This offense is power run game with Trent Richardson. I don't think it's going to be successful, but I do think Luis Perez is going to drop some dimes and score some touchdowns. Score will be 22 to 9 for me. Birmingham on top. I agree as well. Like Atlanta and Orlando, both teams have good defenses, but I think Birmingham has a better secondary and a better running game. Combining these two things with a bad Memphis passing attack, I think Birmingham will beat Memphis 19 to 6. All right, our last game of the day. We got Salt Lake City at Arizona. This game is probably the game I'm most excited for. I'm excited to see Josh Woodrum at quarterback. He's athletic. Um, he can run the ball well. Uh, at running back, Joel, I'm not going to even try to pronounce his last name. It starts with a B. If you know in the comments section how to pronounce it, y'all can comment that. He's a bigger back, and I know they have good backs behind him. Kenny Bell at wide receiver. They got some Nebraska guys. Greer Martini at linebacker from Notre Dame. Excited to see him. Arizona, on the other hand, uh, Josh Huff at wide receiver. Many of you probably remember him. He was great in college. Trevor Knight at quarterback. I think everybody knows who Trevor Knight is. And then Scooby Wright at linebacker. I don't know why, but I just have a hunch. I think Salt Lake City is going to come out and win this game at Arizona 28-26. Well, it looks like these are the two best teams coming into the AAF. These teams have the two best odds. Look for an exciting game. Two athletic teams, two good pass offenses. Salt Lake City will cover the spread, but ultimately lose in the end. Give me Arizona 35-33. All right, guys, those are basically our shot-in-the-dark predictions for the openers of the AAF. You know, there's really not much to go off of, but we're Really, really excited for this league and uh, excited for things to come. Make sure to like and subscribe and you'll get more information all year round about the Alliance of American Football. See you later.